Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. Do you hear that music? It's... It's Christmas music. It's Christmas music. You know what this means. And if you look at the bottom right and you look at the version number, PC Building Simulator got an update to version 1.6 today. And I'm super excited about it because there's a bunch of good stuff in it. You can already see some of the things that got added uh, on the PC here on the right. We've got a couple Zotac graphics cards. We didn't have any Zotac graphics cards before, I don't think. And we've got a new AORS motherboard, which we'll go in and check out more of. Uh, I'm not sure if the Cryorig cooler's new. It might be. There's a lot of new stuff, so it's pretty exciting. There's also some new DRAM, some new fans. A bunch of that actually might be in this build, so. Oh, we're still gonna get the Halloween music. This is conflicting. All right. Anyway, let's go check it out. All right, we're back in the original workshop here. Uh, and with our current Halloween music, we've got the old Halloween lights still on. Which is great and cool, but not really like season appropriate. So we're going to turn those off. And actually, you see we turn them off the pumpkin. We've got a new one. We've got a tree. <gasps> it's Christmas. Ooh, there's presents everywhere. It's great. So uh, yeah, we're going to, I guess we're going to build a computer in this like super weird, like crazy incandescent warm lighting. And uh, oh my gosh, I forgot I built this in the last episode. The longest liquid cooling loop I've ever built. Ridiculous. Okay. But anyway, forget about that. We're putting stuff away. Uh, I forget how this this uh, little office works. Okay, we are going to check out everything new in version 1.6 of PC Building Simulator. There is so much cool stuff in this one. I'm super excited. Okay, we're going to start with cases because I love cases. They're so cool. They're super fun. Um, there are five new cases. Four of those are like normal cases, and one of them is actually an, an a uh, like a like a bench like a you know like a what like a like an open bench like a a test bench yeah i can't find it open so it's the open bench table look at this seriously it's like metal i mean it's like solid metal and yeah it is a test bench so you can see our motherboard would go down the, on here we would have our graphics cards and whatnot, our PCIe stuff mounted there. Uh, I assume power supply probably around the bottom or something. So we'll have to check that out. I don't know if we'll really build into it at all right now, but uh, pretty cool to have an open test bench now. Uh, we'll be fun to do some builds on that and really show off just the components. So we'll be doing an open test bench build um, soon. So there's one case. Okay, other new cases. We've got a case from Lian Lee, which I'm not in cases anymore, so thank you for that game. Lian Lee. So we already had the Lian Cool Digital, the O11 Dynamic, of course, and now we have the TU150 in silver, in black, in silver and window, and in black and window. So this is like a pretty cool mini ITX case with a handle, so I'm super excited to build in that one coming up. That's pretty cool. So that's from Lian Lee. We've got a couple new cases from Silverstone. The RL08, wherever you are, hello, RL, what, is this one new? This has gotta be new. That's not new? That looks new, okay. Yeah, oh, the LD03, this one's new, and the RL08. Dude, the, uh, the, the LD03 is a mini ITX case and it's like upright. This thing is so sweet looking, like I can't wait to build in this one too. Was this already here, the Silverstone CS381? I, don't, I swear I've never seen this case but I don't see it in the change log. Uh, that feels new to me, but maybe it's not, I don't know. Okay, so that's our cases from Silverstone, and then we've got one new one from Corsair, the 175R RGB. So we already had the 275R, we've built that a couple times actually, and now we'll have the 175R, I don't know how they organize these, this, 175R RGB, so a mid tower, uh, kind of hard to tell like what's actually RGB on it, but there you go. That's all the cases. We've also got new case fans. Just a couple here. Uh, we've got some from Lian Lee. This is the first time they've had fans in the game, which is cool. So the Lian Lee bore a digital ARGB, so that means addressable RGB. What? No way! So I was actually, I mentioned this in, in the RGB PC 2.0 build, that I really wish they had addressable RGB fans in the game, because it allows you to address every single RGB all the way around the fan, and so you can do like a rainbow effect within the fan, 
we are going to be using these soon too. Oh man, I'm super excited. I might even have to take them and throw them in to the super RGB PC, which I already put away. And uh, wow, that's sick. Is there any other ARGB stuff? That's so sweet. Okay, I, I don't wanna get too excited here. The other fans that got added are from the best manufacturer ever, Mortoni. Mortoni now has RGB fans. The Heat Away RGB 120 and Heat Away RGB 140. Dude, Mortoni, I love it. The all Mortoni build could have been, it's gonna look even cooler now. So that's it for case fans. Uh, we got a bunch of new power supplies. I'm not gonna show them because they're not that interesting, but I'll read them off really quick. The Cooler Master V850 Gold, obviously 850 watts. Cooler Master MWE 700 Bronze, 700 watt. Cooler Master MWE 750 White, 750 watt. And Corsair RM Series RM850 and the Corsair RMX Series RM650X. So, five new power supplies, three from Cooler Master, two from Corsair. Okay, motherboards. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm going to start with the least interesting, which isn't really fair because they're, they're all actually pretty interesting. Okay, so we've got three new boards from MSI. We've got the MSI Meg. Z390 Ace, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Z390, wow, it can handle pretty high CPU speeds. That's a nice motherboard. I think it has that really cool like infinity mirror effect on the on the uh, I/O shrouds. So that's pretty sweet. We also got the uh, this one, the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge AC. That is new as well. Also a pretty nice board there. And then one more from MSI, the MSI Meg. Z oh mag excuse me the MSI mag Z390 Tomahawk wow that's pretty cool too so all of those are obviously LGA 1151 socket and they're all standard ATX um, okay so that's those and then we also got a couple more boards from Gigabyte Aorus um, and what's really exciting about these is you guys have heard me asking praying we got Ryzen third gen can we get an X570 board please thank you very much well we got them we got the gigabyte x570 aorus master revision 1.0 that's weird i didn't I don't, I don't know what that means and then the gigabyte x570 aorus extreme x stream revision 1.0 okay great so that's super super awesome um we're definitely going to be building with an x570 board soon and uh, we'll maybe just see if we get any more speed out of the cpu by putting it in there so that's cool um Speaking of, I guess, CPU speed really quick, if you guys remember, uh, if I have any computers with parts to... I don't have one. Okay, well, in, in if you installed the app Part Ranking, um, third-gen Ryzen CPUs were showing in the wrong spot, and I guess they fixed that. That's a little bug fix. Anyway, back to new stuff. Okay, RAM. We've got a few new RAM options. We've got some RAM from Gigabyte. So originally we only had this, the Gigabyte ARS RGB 8 gig, and now we have Gigabyte memory, 8 gig, 2666. This is kind of a lower end, you know, not super fast DDR4, but there it is. So we've got that. Uh, we've got some new RAM from Patriot, Patriot Viper Steel Series. Here? Yeah, there we go. So we got a bunch of different speeds available, all the way up to 4400 megahertz, so pretty darn fast. Uh, yeah, there you go. From Patriot Viper. And then we've got one more from A-Data. So we already had these A-Data sticks available, and now we have the Spectrix. Well, we had the Spectrix. We have a new Spectrix, the D41, I think. Let me check. Ah, uh, no, that's wrong. D60G. Did we already have this? No, oh, I didn't realize. We already had that? Okay. We have the D60G. D60G, where are you? Whoa, that's crazy. There it is, the D60G. That was actually the RAM. It looks like that's the RAM that was in the build on the uh, the menu screen that we were looking at. So there you go. goes all the way up to 4133 megahertz. Okay, that is cases, case fans, power supplies, motherboards, RAM. Let's go to graphic cards. Graphic, graphics cards. Graphics, you know, plural. Anyway, we've got a lot of good options. I'm gonna go through the air-cooled cards first because there's a lot of cards here and a lot of them are water-cooled, so get get hype. Uh, all right. Uh, this is gonna be sort of hard. Okay, anyway, we got some from Asus. 
which is great because we didn't have any RTX cards from Asus previously. But now we've got a 2060 Super, a 2070 Super, and a 2080 Super. So this is also the first time we're seeing the Super Series at all, I think. We just had the 2060 before. But now we've got the 2070 Super and the 2080 Super and the 2060 Super. So, super cool. We also, also like, first time we've seen second gen, or, you know, 20 series cards uh, from Asus. So that's really awesome. 2070 Super, Asus RG Strix is kind of like the card I'd probably buy in real life if I wanted to spend money. And if I want to spend a little more, I may make a 2080 Super. I don't know. But anyway, that's super cool. Really excited to see those. We've also got cards from Zotac. We saw that on the splash screen. And we've already had some graphics cards from Zotac. I actually kind of forget we did. Um, but now we've got a couple 2080 series from them. So they were all 10 series. And then they had a 1660 Ti. And, now, and so now we've got an air-cooled 2080 Ti amp. And then we've also got some water-cooled cards from them. Which I guess we can just look at. We'll just, we'll just stay in brand here. There's a Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Arctic Storm. Water-cooled card. Super crazy. Pretty awesome. And uh, while we're here, we'll also look at a... Oh, no. 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 Okay, yeah. There it is. We also got another water-cooled Extreme Water Force. Only this time it's the RTX 2080 Super instead of the 2080 Ti, which we've used in a ton of builds. Um, now we've got a Super. So that's... That's super. Wow, great. So it's kind of cool. We've That's our first 20 series card that is not the 2080 Ti that we that we can use water cooled. So that's also nice. Gives us a, one more non 2080 Ti, really one one 20 series non 2080 Ti option when it comes to water cooled graphics cards. Um, okay, we've also got some Aor. I think we've got what one Aorus air cooled card that got added. But yeah, they're 2080 Super here. Um, so that's new as well. Oh, and we should have a 2070 Super. 27 Super? Hello? Hello. You're somewhere. Maybe? No? Oh, it's not Aorus. It's Gigabyte. It's just Gigabyte. Okay. That would do it. Gigabyte. Gigabyte. Where are you? Nope. Nope. Hello? There. 2070 Super. Wow, okay. Super Gaming OC White. That is unique. That's a 2070 Super from Gigabyte. So we've got two 2070 Supers. Now, one from Asus, one from Gigabyte. Super cool. Okay, so that's three. That's two air-cooled cards from Gigabyte, one water-cooled card from Gigabyte. We've got two air-cooled cards from Zotac, one water-cooled card from Zotac, and then we've got three air-cooled cards from Asus ROG. So there you go. That's all of our graphics cards. Nine new graphics cards and the first introduction of the Super Series. So, like, I feel like we're, we're crossing off a lot of boxes for me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Okay, we got to keep moving, though. Let's continue to move forward in time. We've got new storage options. We've got new SSD options, which is pretty awesome. So, we, we saw the HyperX RGB were added most recently. Now, we've got new M.2 drives from ADATA, the Spectrix series here. So, that's cool. Those are fun. We've got new Corsair M.2 drives with kind of an aluminum heat sink on them. And they go all the way up to 2 terabytes. No way. Oh, same with, X same with the A data. That goes up to 2 terabytes now. We've done it. We've gotten bigger SSDs. This is so great. Gigabyte also stepping in with their M.2 drives up to 512. And Gigabyte or Aorus RGB M.2 NVMe SSDs. Wow. This is great. I'm loving this. Um, 512 gig for the largest, and then the, also their Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSD. This is the fastest SSD in the game, I think. 4,700 megabytes per second. That's faster than these, barely. And it's definitely going to be faster than those original Corsair drives we use so much. Yep. Wow, we've done it. We've, we've found faster SSDs. I'm super excited. Yes. Great. They're kind of weird looking. Crazy, like, copper heatsink. And they go all the way up to 2 terabytes. Dang, I bet these things are expensive. Well, I think the most expensive PC is is obsolete now. We're going to have some updating to do. We've also got M.2 drives from Patriot Viper, all the way up to one terabyte. Oh, two terabytes. Dang. And uh, so that's kind of like, I don't know if that's RGB. Yeah, that is RGB. Okay. And then they've got a black version all the way up to two terabytes again. And then this 
PCIe Gen 4? What? 4,800 megabits? Megabytes per second, excuse me? That's the fastest SSD now. The new Patriot Viper VP4100. And it comes in a two terabyte flavor. 4,800 megabytes per second. Oh, and then uh, we've got some new two and a half inch SSDs from Gigabyte. Holy cow, that is a ton of storage options. Insane. Insane. So, so, so awesome. I'm really excited. We did not have much diversity as far as storage before, so I'm pumped. No new traditional hard drives, all SSDs. All SSDs. Um, okay, keep moving. We got AIOs added from Silverstone, who did not have an AIO at all before, but now we have the TD03 Lite. The TD-03 Slim, the TD-02 Lite, and the TD-02 Slim. So, there you go. Oh, and there's more. Yeah, you know. They get a bunch of stuff. Actually, oh, I lied. The TDs, I guess, were already in the game. Ah, anyway, sorry, forget that. These are the new ones. PF-120 ARGB. Oh, and the PF-240 ARGB, P-360 ARGB. Dude, addressable RGB is here. That is so awesome. I'm super stoked that they finally added addressable RGB to the game. I guess they're not going to put it back on like older fans, because like I think these Corsair fans like could be addressable. They definitely have addressable versions, for sure. Anyway, that's awesome. We are definitely going to experiment with all of the addressable RGB very soon. Okay, a couple more things. I know, this is crazy. We have a new processor from AMD, Ryzen 3rd Gen, the 3950X. I'm not going to keep scrolling because I'm never going to find it. 3950X, 16 cores, 32 threads, beast, monster, total monster. We are definitely building with that one also soon inside of an X570 board. It's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to rip so hard. Okay, super sweet. Thank you, PC Building Simulator, for doing an awesome job. Actually, keeping up with like CPU releases. That was, that is, 3950X is like not been out very long, so super killer. Uh, all right, we've got some new peripherals. Actually, we've got a new monitor. A new monitor is that's not just like one of these dumb DFL ones, but we already had the Asus ROG Swift PG27UQ, and now we have the PG279QE. Wow, great. So one more monitor option that's not just this generic one. So that's cool. We've got one new keyboard from A-Data. A-Data, I didn't know A-Data made keyboards. So that's good. That's that's interesting. I had no idea. Here it is, the A Data XPG Summoner, very cushy looking wrist dress. I like it. And we've got uh, no new mice. One new mouse mat, also from A Data, the XPG Battlegrind XL Prime. Wow, look at it, beautiful. Is that wireless charging? Oh, it's got RGB. Okay, I was like, there's something going on here. It's got RGB. Okay, fun. Um, sweet. And then headsets. One from A Data, the XPG Precog. There you go. Cool. I don't know. Peripherals are fine. I don't care that much in this game, but that's fine. Um, and we also got this is just kind of a bonus little addition because we have so many new GPUs. We got new SLI bridges from Zotac, their NV Link bridge for four slot, and then their NV Link bridge for three slot spacing. And then we got Asus RG SLI bridges as well. So it'll be interesting to check those out when we do a dual GPU, multi GPU build with the Asus ROG cards. <sighs> okay, so that's it. That's everything new in PC Building Simulator version 1.6. There's a lot here. I will go ahead and link to the update changelog in the description so you guys can just go ahead and read over everything I went over. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm super excited about. 20 or uh, 20 series NVIDIA card, Super Series, the AMD Ryzen 3950X, and X570 boards. Also, a bunch of new GPU vendors, new water card, like new new water cooled cards, tons of new storage. Sweet update, dude. This is the ultimate Christmas gift. Ah, it's so great. And there's Christmas music and a beautiful Christmas theme in the uh, the original workshop. So I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Keep up to date on all the updates coming out in PC Building Simulator, as well as uh, builds I've been working on and showing off builds you guys have been working on. But either way, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. See ya.